What's up guys, today I'm going to show you every tool that we are using in RefSync to run successful outbound lead generation campaigns. All of these tools are personally tested by me and used in our agency day to day. So if you are just looking to get started with cold email or enhance your current process, these are the go-to tools. Without any more talking, let's get right into it. So the first batch of tools I will go through are email sending tools. That means instantly smart lead and one more special tool that we are using for every one of our clients. So let's start with instantly. They have one very good thing if you're just getting started and don't want to deal with the infrastructure side is you can buy pre-warmed inboxes. That means you can just start sending day one. So you don't need to set up your own domains, your own email accounts. You can just start sending and buy it from instantly directly. Also, the, their UI is very simple to use, very intuitive. So if you're just getting started, I would use probably instantly over a smart lead. One thing to take into account is these tools are built for the masses. So <clears throat> one thing that is going to happen is you will probably land spam into spam more often than you would have liked to, but it necessarily doesn't need to be your fault. That's because both of these tools have public sending IPs. That means instantly, let's say we have five IPs, right? This is just for illustration. And <clears throat> all the instantly users are spread into five IPs. So it's very random in which IP you can land. So you can land into a IP pool with very good senders. So you don't need to you will not land in spam if you are not sending spam. But let's say you land in a in a pool with a spammer and with a with a with someone that is just sending pure spam emails and they are getting marked as spam and deleted and whatever. You can land in spam too, but it won't be your fault. But it would be the fault of the IP you are in. Of the, I mean the IP pool, right? I hope it made sense. But essentially for a, 100% durability, I would use a different tool that we will go over next. So both of these tools are, tools are very affordable. When it comes to API capabilities, instantly it's a bit worse than smart lead, but there's nothing extra. So like if you ha want to have some simple automations for interested leads or just like, you know, creating draft messages for the replies, you can do it with instantly and smart lead without a problem. So you know, smart lead also offers Kind of white label. I mean, nothing crazy, but you can set up some colors and your and your uh, and your logo. I think so. <clears throat> so both very good foundations to start sending. Okay, and the last tool is email Bison. I think pff, it's one of the best tools on the market currently. That's why we are using it for every one of our clients. With email Bison, you get your private sending IP. That means you are the creation of your durability, right? So if you are sending spam, you are going to land in spam. But if you are sending good emails, relevant emails, you will get 100% better durability and it's solely on you if you are going to land in spam or not. It's very good for high volume senders, has insane API capabilities, like the number of points, they feel like it's crazy. You can do anything with it. Also, their technical, their support is very technical and fast. So if you have any problem, they will help you for sure. But it's a bit exp on the expensive side and you can't just sign up for it. So you need to go through their process of getting qualified and whatever, you know, if you are a good sender. So the next couple of tools we are going to be going through are lead finding and data tools. Okay, so the first lead data finding tool is Apollo.io. I think most people are familiar with this tool, but if not, we'll quickly go through it. So we have a bunch of filters here. So for people, company and companies, I usually start in the company filtering side. If you are just looking to get started, you can just build a list here and export it with the tool I'm going to show you later. So let's say we want to target companies with 11 to 20 employees, 21 to 50 that are located in the US, States, BIM, and are in the advertising, <clears throat> marketing, advertising industry. So we have 22K companies. 
If we want to find the people, we go into here and we looked for our desired job titles. So let's say we are looking for a CEO, CEOs and founders. We select these and we got 9.6K contacts that we can reach out to. So this is just a very quick, quick walkthrough of how to use Apollo and what you can do with it because this video would be like three hours long if I go into detail. And yeah, let's go to the next tool. Okay, the next tool is Sales Navigator on LinkedIn. I think this might be even more popular than Apollo. So a quick walkthrough of Sales Nav is here we have our filters for finding accounts and leads. So accounts in this case something like companies right so we just very similar to apollo company headcount where they are located their industry and like things like the number of followers if they are hiring currently and so that was the account filtering section and this is the lead filtering section very similar to apollo here you just select current job title so ceo for example right then where they are located so united states uh, their industry so let's say marketing services and if they good filter that only sales navigator has is if they have changed jo jobs in the i think last six months i believe so three months so these would be people that just started their role as a ceo at marketing companies right and also posted on linkedin so we have a bunch of filters like this i'm going to show you how to export linkedin in a bit with the tool that we are using and yeah let's get into the next tool and the next tool in our tech stack is clay.com so if you are very new to outbound and lead generation or just gtm in overall clay is something like google sheets on very high dose of steroids that means Clay has over 100 or 150 integrations inside it. So you can use various tools through their native integrations or APIs. So let me just show you quickly how it looks. So <coughs> we have a normal list here from Apollo. And in this workflow, we are trying to find and validate emails from that Apollo list. So for example, here <coughs> we use a tool called Lead Magic which is called through an, a, through an API call through Clay. So here we validate the email. If it's invalid or valid, that means safe to send or not safe to send. Here we use an HTTP API call to validate the invalid emails. That means the catch-all emails, right? So I can just show you quickly, like here you can see we have lead magic, then we have ICPs, then we have, no, what is enroll, then we have find email, then we have Prospio. So we use multiple providers to find the email and validate it, right? And then we get the work email shown here if we have, if we are able to find it. Then if we want to do further enrichments, we can enrich the person's profile and get all these informations, information here. So the capabilities and possibilities of what you can do in Clay are endless. So this is just a very simple use case of like validating a lead list. So I'm going to be making more videos on this, on how to use Clay for very personalized place and outbound campaigns that we are using right now. And yeah, I'm very excited for that. Okay. The next tool in our tech stack is serper.dev. This is very useful and simple tool when it comes to Google scraping. So quick walkthrough of this. I'm just going to show you in this playground mode <clears throat> is let's say we want to look for mental health clinic in United States and like Google my business, essentially we do a search and these are all the places we can get, right? So we can even do United States and Florida, Florida, United States and do search. And here we get all the mental health clinics results on the first page of Google my business in Florida, right? So this is the link to the website, then another one, another one, position two. We get a bunch of useful information which we can use to further personalize inside Clay, for example, right? <clears throat> this we can, if you are doing SEO, you can see on which page they are ranked. 
if you are doing if you are removing you know <clears throat> negative reviews you can use this type of scrape and scrape their reviews and see if they have any any negative reviews or you can the possibility is endless again so this is just a quick walkthrough and yeah let's get to the next okay so the next tool is phantom buster this is the tool i was talking about early on which can scrape LinkedIn sales navigator URLs. So we are currently using it only for that. And you can also extract, I think, LinkedIn page followers. You can scrape the interactors of, from a LinkedIn post. Like also a bunch of ways to scrape data. Yeah, I will need to go a bit quicker through the other tools because this video will be 30 minutes long. So <clears throat> the next tool is built with. With this tool, you can find websites and find out find out what technologies are installed on on their website so let's say you want to find out if company is using salesforce as a crm so they will most likely have a salesforce form on their website and built with is able to scrape that so you can do that for hubspot you can do that for like i said salesforce or pipe drive or essentially whatever tool that it doesn't need to be crm that you can see it on their website essentially the next tool is store leads this database is purely for e-commerce companies it's on the pricer side i think it's like 250 dollars a month but you get every single e-com store that is in the us canada or like worldwide i think so if you want to purely target e-commerce companies i would go to this data provider next one is crunchbase i think Every knows Crunchbase, so these are this is the best data provider or data site for SaaS companies, startups, and essentially like funding data. So yeah, if you are looking for newly founded companies, you can use Crunchbase to get that company data. So the next tool is Clutch.co. Here we can find a bunch of companies in a bunch of different industries and niches. So <clears throat> let's say we are looking for marketing companies, but we specifically want to target pay-per-click. So we select this and here we do, let's say if you are looking for any type of client budget, industries or reviews, right? Anyways, in United States, we have about 9.6K paper ppc companies so how to scrape them because this is good that we can find this but how do i get the data i will show you a tool that we are using for this type of use cases later in the video but i wanted to give you an idea of what you can find with clash let's say business services you can do accounting private equity payroll bunch of possibilities here also okay so the tool i was talking about just a second ago is called instant data scraper so let's say we want to scrape all these companies here so we use this it's a google extension very simple and you just open it and you see in this red red rectangle or whatever it is these are the highlighted things that it will scrape so here we will get the clutch like this is not really important you'll we'll get the company name we will get the reviews all the information you can see here we are able to scrape so you can just use this and it will automatically scrape all the all the companies on this site then you will need to use something like clay to find the company domains which is pretty straightforward but yeah you don't need to have clay for that but this scraper can be used for anything doesn't need to be used for clutch so if you have any website then you, that you need all the website content from you can just use instant data scraper also endless capabilities and possibilities with this tool so the next tool I promised to show earlier in the video is this one. It's called Ample Leads. This is an Apollo scraper. That means at least you built in Apollo, like I showed earlier. You get the URL of the Apollo and you just come here and copy paste it. You put the number of leads that is in the Apollo link and you just press start scraping. This is very efficient and very cost effective way of scraping apollo because if you were to export the leads directly from apollo you would need to buy their plan i think it's like you know 150 or 99 bucks for like 10k leads which is crazy here 
with Ample Eats, you can you have different pricing packages, but you still get the leads for very cheap. And I would very much recommend using this service provider. The next tool is Boomerang. Maybe not known by everyone, also like Ample Eats, but I got you. This is a very useful tool for scraping a bunch of different things. Earlier, I showed you that you can find funded companies through Crunchbase. Here is where you can get the companies because you also need to buy a paid plan on Crunchbase. So you just also t again take the URL and import it here. Name the result, your result file and how much data you need. Also here you can export Sales Navigator. So you don't need to Phantom, use Phantom Buster, but you can just use this tool. Also, you can export LinkedIn posts, commenters and reactions, uh, competitive frawlers. Also, you can find your emails or waterfall and different here and also you can to scrape Apollo. So this is also very useful scraping tool that we are using and yeah, I just recommend them. Okay, so the next couple of tools we are going to be going through are email verification tools. The first one I love is Lead Magic. They are the best that is the fastest, the most cost efficient. So if you want to validate your email emails and find your emails, you use Lead Magic. I recommend them very much. The next one is Million Verifier. I think that was one of the first ones on the market and also very cost effective. But when they when we need to use it inside the clay, they don't have native and integration. So we need you need to use an HTTP API call. So that is one decent advantage, but otherwise it's very very good tool also. Another one that we are using is Bounceban. This is for catch all emails verification. So that means, let's say Lead Magic says that our email is invalid. We still run it through Bounceban to see if it's catch catch all. And if it's catch, catch all invalid, we delete the email. If it's catch all valid, we can just send to that email. Uh, the next tools we're going to be going through are automating and reporting tools. So we use Anyden and Make. We are transferring a bunch of our stuff to NADN currently because the pricing is a bit more reasonable for us and has more capabilities and we find it just more convenient. So all of our automations are transferring to NADN from make.com. We use Airtable for storing our data for doing an inbox management. For CRM, we use Airtable for everything because I just love the capabilities of, of like how you can customize it. So I would pick a triple over everything. <laughs> the next tool is Slack. We use that for uh, weekly reporting. We use that for client communication. We use that for what do we, you know, we use it for like for interested leads automations. So just like a day to day communication essentially. And this was the last tool that I wanted to show you. I hope do find out some new tools from this video and it was helpful. Uh, if you would love to chat on how we can help you with your lead generation or or how we can help you automate your revenue processes, just go down below and we can talk further. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.